Hello and welcome everybody to the channel. So this is kind of an impromptu video. Uh, sorry for the poor sound quality if it is. I don't usually, uh, this isn't my usual stuff. <laughs> this is actually over in the, the gaming area, the war gaming area. Uh, but I recently got a package. I'm very excited about it. This is, I've been jonesing for some spaceships and I have my Battlefleet Gothic stuff sitting in a container, in a storage container in the other room there. But, you know, kind of, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a, a little bit 40k'd out. So I thought I'd go for something a bit different. Uh, and so I found this wonderful site. I didn't even know they existed until, you know, <laughs> what was it? It was a couple months back. I think it was in December, actually, is when I ordered this, and it was from Instagram. Just came in the mail, came from Britain. Heart goes out to you guys. I hope you're all staying safe. Um, hope it passes soon, and whatever's going on down there, you know. Um, but this is Drop Fleet Commander. Now, this box is actually pretty big. Like, there's more stuff in there. Um, this is, it's the company's uh, TT Combat. And they do two games. They do drop, what is it? Uh, drop, there's drop fleet commander and then drop zone commander, I think is what it's called. Um, one's a ground version and then one's a space version of basically the same universe. Um, and so this is the resistance starter fleet here. So these are basically, uh, oh, and then there's the other portion of it. They did a really good job packing this too. It was really nice. So, uh, these ships can be kind of designed any way you want to. This is their starter fleet. Uh, and so what do we got here? Four resistance frigates, three resistance cruisers, and fast play cards. So it looks like you can just play the full game. Uh, let's see, what do we got? 36 parts. This will be my first time uh, putting one of these together. Uh, let's see what do we got here. So resistance starter fleet. So the universe is kind of a bit different. Um, essentially, Earth has been taken over uh, by what they call the scourge, and uh, humanity kind of left and left for left the what's known as the cradle worlds here. And as humanity fled, uh, the people that were kind of left behind became the resistance and essentially what's happening is they're the resistance not just to the scourge but also to another faction which is human faction uh the you think the ucm is actually what they were called hold on one sec yeah the ucm and uh they're also resistant against them as well basically uh you know bad blood because they were left behind but essentially their ships look ramshackle and crazy because well they are they're essentially trying to scavenge all the pieces that they can to keep their their fleets going and essentially just surviving um the, there are actually you can do them in multiple configurations too which i really like about this and uh so you can see right here you know, a bunch of actually more sleeker ships. So they do have sleeker ships and fleets in the universe that are based on more professional, you know, armadas and fleets and stuff like that. But, of course, you have all the pirates and civilians and anything else going on. But that's what that is, okay? Uh, we'll pop that open in just a second, all right? Next up is this. I know there's a lot of peanuts in here. So I always like squishing these. <laughs> Remind me of Cheetos. Probably is cornstarch or something like that. Okay, so this is... Oh my god, this thing's heavy. Oh boy. <clears throat> it is actually very heavy. I was not expecting that. <laughs> okay, so this is the actual two-player starter set. Um, it's got a full starter UCM fleet in it and a full starter Scourge fleet in it. Holy crap, I think it's I think the resin because these are all resin models. So here's all the stuff that it comes with. Gives you a nice little uh little blurb about what's going on. These are the UCM ships, which I really, really, really like. I'm sure so does everyone else. Uh yeah, those things are freaking awesome looking. And then 
right here. These are the Scourge, which those look just as awesome. Uh, but it gives you the full start. So if you look right here, look at three cruisers, four frigates, three cruisers, four frigates. And I think this one said the same thing. So let's here, let's check. Yep, four frigates, three cruisers. So it's literally two starter fleets. And this one was, um, what was it? I think it was like around 87 pounds or something like that. Uh, if you're American, it's probably like around a hundred and something dollar dues. Uh, but down here, here's all your tokens. Get some dice, cool little ruler. Get your accessories. Okay. Then full size rule book, which I was curious. I thought maybe you'd get like a a uh, kind of like a quick start. Um, because they didn't show any pictures of the back of the box. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a chance. I'll just get it anyway. But they uh they they totally did it. So here we go. They gave you a full rule book. Along with uh a double sided poster, so that's your battle mat, and eight card cities and eight card debris fields. Essentially what's going on is when you're playing this, you're actually playing in orbit around a planet you're not playing in deep space uh, but give me one second and i will open these up and we can check out what's inside okay okay so here it is um i actually had to open up the little piece of paper here uh, there's no other way to get it out i actually tried pulling out the entire box and it got stuck on this paper so fair warning um you're going to have to tear it <laughs> or cut it or something if you want to keep the paper, which I don't... It's really nice cardstock, too. I, don't... I guess if you want to keep it to look at it, I don't know. Up to you. Some people are interested in that sort of thing. Okay, so nice cardboard box. Ooh. Probably pictures and images from... All of their pre, all of their other games, because they do have actually a couple other games, a um, couple fantasy games. Uh, I do believe they have one. It's like called, what is it? It's a wrestling game. It's freaking crazy. <laughs> so here we go. Let's pop this open. Got some nice plastic here. These are resin, by the way. Uh, actually, no. I think these are plastic. I remember reading they were resin. Ooh. Look how thick this stuff is. It's heavy, you know? It doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart on you. There you go. Definitely liking the detail on them. They will be fun to paint and uh, put together for sure. I was actually looking for something not only spacey, but a bit of a proxy look to it. So I could actually substitute them for other space games. And, you know, I saw these and I'm like, ooh. Oh, yep. Clear stems. There's another one. Looks like the same sprue, copycat sprue. Probably for the frigates, I assume. Then these must be cruiser parts, maybe? I really like how the bodies are. Like everything's nice and very different from what I'm used to looking at. Cause I'm so used to, you know, GW stuff. Okay. So these bases are a bit different. You actually have to put them together. <laughs> um, the way the game system works, I guess these twist like you have a couple pieces here frigates obviously cruisers um and these little things go on them and you got these little dials or whatever and nibs and based on where everything is set is kind of where their altitude is and everything else okay oh there we are what is this oh man Oh, okay. 
So here's the actual dials. Standard sticker sheet. So this is for the dials. Comes with. Seems a bit complicated. Um, from what I understand, it's actually not as complicated as it looks. I don't know what any of these stats mean. If you play this game, there we go. Sorry. If you play this game, then by all means, um, you know, put it in the comments. Let me know, because I am quite curious. I'm going to be probably playing a single player game, kind of trying to figure it out. Looks like we got another fast play sheet is actually what they're called. So, as you can tell, it's just got a bunch of unit stats on it. Looks like, what was this one? Oh, I think this one's the, the other one was the frigate sheet. This one's the cruiser sheet. What do we got here? Tonnage, orders, space stations, crippling damage. Oh, looks like a kind of like a play sheet of some kind. Reminder sheet, maybe. Like I said, I don't know too much about Drop Fleet Commander. This is my first kind of four way into it. So, what do we got here? Battle group cards. Oh, Needle. All right. I don't know what they do. <laughs> I'm gonna find out. All right, so that was the resistance starter set box. Uh, let's go ahead and, and pop open. Hello, kitty. Let's go ahead and pop open the other box, shall we? See you in a minute. All right, so here is the other box set. Uh, Two player starter set, things heavy. I think I showed you exactly what was on the outside. So we got a bunch of images right here. Cool blurb, lore blurb about both factions. Okay. Nice image of the Scourge, UMC on the opposite side. And then <laughs> I like this one. Nice head to head uh, picture. Okay, let's pop this closer open. Oh my goodness. Ooh. This one's huge. Let me set this like this. So we've got two starter fleets. This is the UCM. <laughs> I keep forgetting what it is. Yeah, UCM. Okay. I keep wanting to say UMC. So here we go. Here is the UCM fleet. Uh, again, these are starter fleets, so like full starter fleets, so they're going to have everything that you're going to need to get started. Um, there we go. Definitely long. Ooh, got some nice turret detail running along here. Little tiny... Uh, Maybe flak turrets of some kind. Like the length of these ships here. They don't, they they look very different. And they do look like something very sci-fi. Like something you, you know, because like you, we, we see a lot of like usual human ships. And they got like wings and all kinds of crazy stuff on them. Nah. I'm a big fan of the uh, old sci-fi, you know, human ships that are just giant flying boxes. You know, like I, I, I do like that those designs. I never really thought that like a Star Trek design would be a thing that humans make so you know there's that there you go I assume this is another frigate or maybe a cruiser of some kind I do like the connection points and I do like the fact that these are plastic it's very hard it's hard heavy plastic too which is really surprising I was expecting something um, a bit softer but no this stuff's like this is hard plastic so hold up we'll drop up <laughs> you could probably get it all get the bigger pieces glued together and stuff won't even break if you drop it i hope anyway so what do we got here up oh, or stands okay and then we've got the scourge fleet right here 
Okay. Pop this open. Keep all these bags together so I can put everything back together. I can store it for later when I can get to it. Oh man, they're straight pointy. I love these the designs of these ships. They, <laughs> like they're so alien and pointy and it's like the razor. Like they look like bone, but not kind of fishy. Like these are crazy looking. Another one. This here is a duplicate. So I'm. Let's see how many did we? Is it a duplicate? Yeah, it is. It's a duplicate. So this one, this one, and this one. These are all duplicate parts. We got this thing, which I think those were the cruisers, and then right here are the frigates. And I can only tell because of the fact that I remember seeing. The tinier ones, which are frigates, and then you got three cruisers. <laughs> so, like long swooping angles and pointy bits. I, I just like that. Be a real, real joy to paint. It's almost like they tried to capture like Giger in his look, and I might end up painting him like that. Just like that alien, the alien black, almost metallic looking. Look, looking, <laughs> the look of like alien and how that it was dark yet metallic, biomechanical looking. Like that just that just kind of screams what these guys need to be painted as. I'll yeah, we'll put this up here. Okay, another stand. What's this? What's this? Oh. Dice. Okay, so it's just a. Uh, you got your flying stands in there, and then some little dice to get you started, and a little keychain tape measure. That's nice. Usually you get like I'm used to the GW kits to get like this little plastic, which are really nice. Don't get me wrong, like those plastic ones that are like six inches or twelve inches, they're really nice. But I kind of like the fact that they took it an extra step and gave you, you know, something a bit. A bit uh, with a bit more, mm, you know, durability. I guess I don't know how durable those keychain things are. So they got oh, okay. So battle group thing. So it looks like it's about the same thing. It's just two of these starter fleet boxes smashed into the one kit. So you're pretty much going to see the same thing, uh, only UCM and Scourge. So. This one's tinier. <laughs> Is it like just <laughs> fast play? Look at the size of this. Maybe they can only like. I want to do that. I don't know. <laughs> I find it funny. Maybe they're pushing the one ships instead. <laughs> yeah. So usual stuff. All the book work. And then here we got two sheets, and they actually marked it for you. I like that. They marked it for you, so you know, because like down here, it looks like the names of the ships are down here. What do we got? The Sun Star, the Liberty's Edge, the Liberator, the Rubicon. Maybe they're the class of ship. Beta Blade, Plague Carrier, Hell Pit, Bloodhound, Undying Mouse. Yeah, I think they're just the the type of ship that it is. They give you some blank ones, maybe, so you can write your name in them. Write names for ships in them. What's this? Uh, oh, scenario guide. This is ideal scenario for using in your first game of Drop Fleet Commander. Okay, so you play this scenario. It gives you a full starter scenario so you can actually learn how to play the game. All the res oh, there we go. Planning, activation, round up, uh, round up phase. Okay, so three rounds and then they're done. Uh, all the tokens you'll need, rules notes. So they actually point you in the direction of the actual rule book. Okay. So we got, oh, those are paper. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, I assume there's cities and debris and stuff like that. 
I got another one of those. Okay. Oh, and then a printout, punch card, not cardboard. Uh, I kind of wish it was cardboard, but you know, what are you going to do? Uh, Wow. So you got your bat. I'm gonna pop this open just a little bit. Ah, okay. So it's basically a, a planet. Oh, and it's a poster too. Look at that. So you got like you get a cool poster, which is on the back side if you want to. Maybe you have your own battle mats, you know. And so you can actually use it as a poster or battle mat. So what do we got over here? What's this one? Kind of the same thing. And oh, this one's a bit different. Debris field almost. I like that. That is really pretty. I might actually post that because that's freaking cool looking. I do like this map back here. I like the fact that it's done in, in the planet's atmosphere too. Um, I don't, I'm so used to, um, oh, good lord, <laughs> okay, okay, mm. ah, it is the year 2672, okay, reminds me kind of, of like the battle, uh, the Babylon 5 introduction, it is the year this and that, I can't remember what it was, I actually have the Babylon 5 rule book, it's sitting on my shelf over there. I'd love to be able to actually crack it open and make some proxy shows. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is that's originally what these were going to be for, is I was going to use the Babylon 5 rule set and use the ships for that rule set. Because, <laughs> like, you can't get the ships anymore. It's a discontinued game. So uh, I was like, oh, but I, I love the freaking game system. Man, this book is huge. My goodness. I should pop it open. Hold on one sec. I'm going to rip open this plastic here. Didn't realize this was actually going to be in plastic. I like the fact that they put it in plastic. Not only did they put it in plastic, like, they they put it in its own little cool transport box. So it's like, you know, you get it and it's not ruined. You know, like, it's just been so many times I get these starter boxes from other companies and, like, They'll put the A2 book in there or whatever, and it's like, <laughs> it's already ruined by the time, like, pages are all bent and everything else by the time you get it. It's ridiculous. I like how they did that. It's a very nice touch. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, man, that cover art is awesome. That cover art is awesome. Look at that. Spaceships. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, man, look at the inside of Look at that cover and that, look at this. Oh, big old sci-fi nerd here. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. That is crazy looking. What? Okay, so we got a bunch of lore background. Okay, so the background of the universe. They did a good job with this, um, with these images here. I wonder what artists they did. These were funny. My wife called these, um, what do you call them? <laughs> she called them space angry space sperm whales or something like that <laughs> system or system oh wow and the background's like humongo okay there we go. let's keep going so we got the rules section here so how to teach you how to play the game you can hear my cat gnawing on things in the background including See, I don't know what any of this stuff means. And I'm going backwards, kind of, with the rule book, but. Oh, wow. What is this? Scenario Station Assault. Oh, these are all scenarios. Okay. Ways to play. Ah, so here we go. So this is where they actually talk about combining their two games. Uh, into one game because essentially what you're doing is drop fleet commander is you're you're actually doing your drop fleet you're coming in to drop off the ground forces to take over the planet or start attacking and assaulting the planet ah okay so in the back right here you can see now it's going to give you all the stuff for each faction that they have 
Um, there's actually, what's, what's, what do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, I think there's six factions to go off of. Um, so we got right here, here's the, I'm going to set this down because it's very heavy. <laughs> so we got the UCM, which here's most of their ships. And a lot of these ships you can do in configuration, so you can set up the, the uh, guns the way you want to based on, you know, the, the uh, model of the ship, I guess we'll, we'll call it that. I don't, I, the word escapes me. And then we got the Scourge. A nice little blurb right here, kind of what they are, what they stand for, and then we've got their ships, and I'm assuming all of these kind of follow the same principle. So we got right here the post-human republic, and these guys are supposed to be the humans that left before the Scourge invaded, and they left, and now they're like super advanced. And they run these big sperm whale ships, which I really like the, the design of these. I originally was going to go for uh, one of these starter fleets, but I was like, you know what? No, I'll, I'll go with the resistance one. That's, that seems like a bit more, I don't know if it's, you know, beginner friendly, but these are pretty cool. I, I'll wait for these guys. Yeah, I I definitely like the look and design of these. Like I'm I I so want to get a starter kit of these. These are cool looking. And then oh, and then this one, the uh Sheltari. These are actual aliens. So so far, there's two alien races. There's the Scourge, and then you've got the Sheltari. Sheltari are straight aliens. And then the Scourge are aliens, but they're, think of them more as, <laughs> they said neuroparasite. And I was like, immediately in my head, I'm like, oh, so they grow old, right? <laughs> like, <it's... laughs> but uh, these guys are freaking, like their ships are crazy looking. Uh, and then of course, here's drop fleet. So they're giving you kind of, or sorry, uh, drop zone. They're giving you their ground unit looks, but they are definitely alien. They They don't follow like they're long bony a lot of their guns seem pointed towards the front uh reminds me of kind of like eldar ships and how they they you they worked uh i'm sure there's they're they're a bit different like they can actually shoot in different directions but they seem very forward focused in in the weapons um These, these ships it's freaking crazy all right let's see if we can't find the big big oh i like that that's cool that is cool looking okay sorry there we go so here's here's the actual ship list and flying saucers and giant alien death guns i don't know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Man, the freaking art in this book is crazy. And, okay, so you can photocopy your own tokens and parts. That's nice. And then, of course, index. And there we go. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm, yes. Okay. So, uh, there it is. There is both Drop Fleet. So, the first one, Drop Fleet, or this last one, Drop Fleet Commander. This is the starter set, which I'm actually quite happy with what they put in there uh i'll have to you know obviously play the game and uh let everybody know um you know how it was but i am looking forward to it i hear good things i, I hear i hear good things about it uh, but you never know Little rules heavy, it seems, but you know what? Honestly, sometimes the ones that are super rules heavy or slightly rules heavy tend to be kind of like the better ones, in my opinion, because they try to they try to simulate everything that's going on. Uh, but I'm also a fan of the simulation type games because I play BattleTech and you know played fantasy and everything. I came from that specific 
era of the bigger games that were kind of rules heavy. So I'm not, it doesn't scare me too much. Rules are rules. It's no big deal. Just gotta, you know, take little bites out of them. You'll get them eventually. And, um, yeah. So with that, thank you so much for joining me on the, on the, this adventure. Awesome adventure of pulling this stuff out of the, out of the boxes. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know if I can actually get this. I kind of don't want to break it now. I'm like, I'm like scared. I'm going to snap like something while I'm putting it in. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> there we go. All right. So these are, so we've got the starter set and then we've got the resistance starter fleet. Uh, go ahead and leave me a comment. Like the video if you like what you saw, you know, subscribe, all that other stuff. You know what, you know, you watch YouTube, you know what's going on. Uh, but definitely leave a comment. I'm, ac I'm actually quite curious about your experiences. If you have experiences in watching, in watching, no, like, no heck, in watching battle reports and knowing anything about the game and kind of your ideas about it and what you found it was lacking or, you know, maybe what you absolutely loved about it because not all rule systems are the same right not everything can you know be the all-encompassing rule set i wish but uh yeah let me know what your ideas and thoughts are in the comments below anyway thank you so much for watching and joining me on this uh, impromptu video and we'll catch you next time bye